So welcome back to my channel. My name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So today is wife's project I'm afraid. So that means I cannot really use any crazy shapes or colors or techniques. It has to be a certain style and uh, it will be cool, it will be big, it will be expensive but simple considering my standards. So let's go downstairs and just get to it. Mustard piece. So those of you who follow my channel may still remember the giveaway box that I I done the Joe Winter style, and that was a piece that I used. And I am wondering if I could somehow fix this one. Maybe use some epoxy. Yeah, probably that's what I'm going to try to do. So today I am going to make a pedestal style fruit wall that is made out of walnut, spoilted beech and obviously resin because I have to fix that big gap. And when I say today, I mean it's going to take several days. I don't normally do projects that are done in one day. I just, uh, nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. I know I can do it. I can do simple projects and that's why I don't do simple projects. Someone once said, I am not interested in doing the things that I know I can do. And that is pretty much sums up my life and my attitude when I am in the workshop. Every time I want to do something difficult because difficult teaches me things. Difficult develops my skills. So basically I have realized something a long time ago. When I start to work on a piece, the only limiting factor is me. Nobody else. I can find excuses. I don't have a table, so I don't have a planer or thicknesser, but still, the only limiting factor is actually me. And I do understand not everybody wants to do the really hard pieces and that's perfectly fine and normal and even I sometimes enter into the workshop and do something something fun but most of the time I have this attitude I want to make something extraordinary and maybe maybe just maybe sometimes my name will be mentioned with some of the best wood turners or artists Probably not, but I will give it a really good try. Okay, so the glue has set. What I am going to do now, I am going to just, just shape it a little bit, the walnut, just make it through so I can make a mounting point on the walnut side, I turn it around and I will glue an other one of these walnut slab to it so I will get identical walnut, walnut middle is a spalted beach. I will glue on the second walnut slab. So here I try to take out the middle of the walnut slab in one piece because I want to use it on the base. And if you realize I didn't glue it in all the way so I use the parting tool to be able to get it out but unfortunately the glue soaked in a little bit further than I wanted to so off camera I ended up taking a little bit more off then I was able to just remove the middle in one piece and I can use it on the base So 
so this thing is so wide I can't fit the two rest underneath so every time I want to shape the bottom I have to remove the piece move the two rest put back the piece and when I want to shape the top I have to remove the piece move the two rest and just put back the piece so if you're new to wood turning or never done wood turning before let me introduce you to the most satisfying thing when it comes to wood turning so the first thing you need to achieve this is to grab a very sharp traditional wood turning chisel so first just turn up the speed to around 1000 rpm then gently push the chisel into the wood and let the chisel do the work I don't watch the tool I only watch the horizon and you see how the groove is moving across the wood and now just listen to the sound that the sharp chisel makes when it cuts into the wood just watch how the wood shaving is burning up on my hand if you feel it press the like button if you don't come back for more sooner or later you will get it the wood turners I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about so next step I am going to glue to the base that piece of walnut that I took from the middle and I am also going to use a piece of spotted beech and that's going to be in the very bottom of the fruit bowl I am going to try to save some wood and maybe just cut that sported beach ball blank into half. Okay, I am going to switch to carbide because I have to push the, the chisel really far away from the tool rest and with the ball gouge that's very dangerous. So now I am going to turn it around. I don't want to make it too thin here because this this is still very heavy. It's like six, seven kilos. If I make it thin here, it might break. So we turn it around and do the inside. I try to take this block out in one piece. I don't know if it's possible or not. Definitely going to put the center on. So now my friend, let me introduce you to the least satisfying thing when it comes to wood turning. Breaking a chisel. So I usually tune down the sound when I make a video, but now I am not going to do that. So you are going to hear exactly what I have heard when I broke the chisel. So this is replaceable carbide tip, so it's not end of the world, but still, it's not a good feeling. So if you are new to wood turning, I'm a professional, don't try this at home. Something's 
concealer. So one advantage of using sanding sealer, it's going to show you the imperfection, the tear outs, the tool marks in the wood that you have to sand out or have to go back with a chisel and just clean it up. To be honest, I'm not surprised I have this. I couldn't take out the center and I couldn't use proper techniques. So I'm happy it's not broken. I just have to send these out. I'm not going to use any chisel on it anymore. Okay, clear locker. Mustard piece. Well, I'm happy with it. <laughs>